Hi everybody, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Today is the YouTubers Weekly Nail Art Stamping Club and the theme for this one is Unicorns, hosted by Allie of Allie's Blog. So let's take a look at everybody's awesome pictures. Mine will be the last and then I'll show you how I created it. So let's get started. Okay, before I paint my nails, I'm going to make um, some decals. And I'm going to use um, the Uber Chic Unicorn Love Stamping Plate. Just got a bunch of cute little unicorn images on here. I'm going to use Brave's Diva on the Black Stamping Polish for my outline. I'm going to use my Queen Stamper that I got from Walmart. It's nice and sticky. I'm going to use this image right here because I've been dying to make like a big unicorn face on my nails. Okay, so we're going to get this unicorn image ready. And that turned out perfect. Um, with this plate and that image, you don't scrape this way, you scrape this way, otherwise, it won't work. Okay, okay, so I'm just going to get rid of everything on here that I don't want. I'm going to create the decal by using Wet n Wild um, Clear Nail Protector. And I'm going to do that because I'm going to be coloring um, in this cute little unicorn. And I don't want to smear the black, which is dry right now. It can be kind of finicky. So we're just protecting the outline. Perfect. And we'll wait for that to dry and then we will be able to color it in. Okay, now it's time to color them in. I'm going to use this Color Club Mood Changing Nail Polish. Now, I've had it for a year, so I don't know if it's going to change color, but it's a regular polish and um, I know I can probably color them in with gel, but I'm just not going to mess with that today. <laughs> I've never really tried it out and I kind of don't want to. So we're going to try this out. Okay, so I have a fine detail brush right here. So I am going to use this to color in his um, mane, her mane, whatever. It's a her. Obviously, since she's going to be pink. So if this doesn't change colors, it's fine because it's still a pretty color. Okay, 
And then I thought maybe I would just brush a little bit for the inner ear, but I'm just going to do that really light. There. Perfect. All right, we'll wait for that to dry. And then I'm going to color it um, white. Actually, we can go ahead and we can do the... Um, the unicorn horn and I'm going to do that in this pixie dust which is called Godiva <laughs> okay so again with the same brush just gonna put a little bit of this on the horn looks pretty good. All right, I'll just wait for that to dry before I can do the white part. And while we're waiting for that to dry, I'm going to use Anchor as my base coat from Zoya. And I'm going to use this um, dark kind of fuchsia pink, also from Zoya, is called Fallon. Okay, so here's the first coat of Fallon. It's pretty much a one coater to tell you the truth. Huh. Well, I think we need two coats of that. I might not do two coats for this Manny because I'm doing um a topper as well. So I might just, just leave it like that. So I'm gonna do my other fingers and when it's dry we'll come back. Okay, so now I'm going to color in the unicorn, and to do that, I'm going to use Zoya's Aspen, which I really like. It's from the um, kind of satin Christmas collection, but I do know they, they still carried it last year, and it's back now two, three years ago that it was in their Christmas collection. I really like it. It's all matte velvet. It's got a really lot of nice sparkle to it, so... Um, See if I can get you up close. Maybe see the sparkle. Um, it's really, really a pretty um, color, and it will probably turn um, once I put the shiny top coat on. It'll be shiny. It won't be matte. So it'll be perfect for my unicorn here. Actually, I'm probably going to have to put, now that I'm looking at it because it looks pretty sheer, so I'm probably just going to put like a white, um, like a plain white on the backing of it so that everything pops over the dark color that I've chosen. kind of didn't think about that. I'm just using a fine detail brush that I just bought off of eBay. Um, eBay is always a good source for inexpensive brushes. I paid a dollar. Okay, so we'll wait for that to dry. We'll come back. Okay, so this is dry, and so now we're going to go in with Starly, and I, I bought this a while back. It looks awesome over black, and um, so that's why I chose such a dark um, pink color, because I really wanted pink, but I really wanted to use this, and I totally didn't remember the name of it. The name of it's Unicorn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe how perfect this is. When I picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh, the name of you is Unicorn. So um, this is actually one of my favorite glitter toppers from Starly. It's just completely amazing. And I haven't gotten a chance to use it a lot. So um, this will actually be, I think, the first time since I've swatched it on an actual Manny that I'm wearing. So I'm really, really excited. It's got a bunch of glitter, but I did have it um, hanging out upside down for a little while to hopefully um, make the glitters float to the top. 
and it has like just a ton of rainbow iridescent flakies in here and wow this is just completely amazing and I really love it let's see if I can get you guys up really close so um so that's some flashes of purple when it's when it's on black you see kind of like you see like a rainbow of colors every single color in the world is in here on this pink it might be hiding some of them I, I just see a flash of green right there um I know it's got blue and stuff so I really really enjoy this one so I'm going to put this um I think I'm just going to do it on the nails without the unicorn because I don't want to compete with the unicorn so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll be hopefully ready for those unicorns okay so now just to bring it a little bit more opaque I'm going to put this white on which is the lacquer from wave gel and it's snow ice comes with the matching gel set so I'm going to use this and I'm just gonna go over the entire back of the unicorn which probably should have been using a, a bigger brush but that's okay let's use this When this is dry, we'll be ready. Ready for the unicorn. Great. And I think I just want this really super glittery, so I'm going to add another coat of unicorn over the top. Okay, now this little corn, little unicorn is ready, and you see him sparkle. Look at that. He's looking beautiful. She's looking beautiful. Okay, so now I am going to put her on my nail. Hopefully she sticks to it. I don't know. Hopefully get her stuck on here. Look at that. She did it. Yay. Okay, so I'm just going to trim off the edges with some acetone, and I'll come back. For my top coat, I'm going to use this Quick Dry by I&M Out The Door. I've been liking this one lately. And I'm just going to put that top of my unicorn. Then on my other nails, and we'll come back when it's dry. So here is the finished look. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.